Gay Street is a street in Knoxville, Tennessee that traverses the heart of the city's downtown area. Since its development in the 1790s, Gay Street has served as the city's principal financial and commercial thoroughfare and has played a primary role in the city's historical and cultural development. The street contains Knoxville's largest office buildings and oldest commercial structures. Six buildings along Gay Street have been listed individually on the National Register of Historic Places and nearly three dozen have been listed as contributing properties in the Gay Street Commercial Historic District. Gay Street was part of the original plat of Knoxville drawn up by surveyor Charles McClung in 1791. The street originally stretched from the river to what is now Church Avenue, Knoxville's original northern boundary. Within a few years, the boundary had been extended to Clinch Avenue, effectively adding what is now Gay Street's 600 block. The eastern half of this block was originally part of the land set aside by Knoxville founder James White for Blunt College, the forerunner of the University of Tennessee. In its early years, Gay Street was known as Market Street or Broad Street. The name Gay Street, which was probably inspired by the Gay Street in Baltimore, was applied sometime in the early 19th century. The intersection of Gay and Main was the focal point of late 18th century Knoxville, with the courthouse initially located at its northwest corner and the jail located at its southeast corner. Knoxville's first store, established in 1792 by brothers Samuel and Nathaniel Cohen, was located on the northeast corner of this intersection and the city's first major hotel, now part of the Bijou Theater, was built on the southwest corner in 1817. On January 11, 1796, the first Tennessee State Constitutional Convention convened at the office of War Department agent Colonel David Henley, which was located at the corner of Gay and Church. After the Civil War, several major banks were established during Knoxville's post-Civil War commercial boom, including Mechanics National Bank, and Holston National Bank, both of which would eventually build headquarters that still stand on Gay Street today. Throughout most of the 19th century, the Lamar House Hotel on Gay Street was a premier gathering place for Knoxville's upper class. During the 1870s and 80s, the hotel's masquerade ball served oysters and ported wines and cigars and drew the likes of artist Lloyd Branson, whose studio was also located on Gay Street, and author Francis Hodgson Burnett. The Bijou Theater, constructed as an addition to the Lamar House Hotel in 1909, would witness performances by the likes of the Marx Brothers, Disney Gillespie, and the Belay Russ. By the 1930s, the Farragut Hotel and the Andrew Johnson Hotel had become Knoxville's premier hotels. During the late 1920s, the Tennessee Theater eclipsed the Bijou as Knoxville's major performance venue and served as the city's first-run movie house until the 1950s. Knoxville's first permanent bridge over the Tennessee River was constructed at the south end of Gay Street in 1867, but stood for just a short time. In 1880, G.W. Saulpaul built what became known as the Saulpaul Bridge at the site, which stood until it was replaced by the current Gay Street Bridge in 1898. At the street's north end, an iron bridge was built across the southern railway tracks in 1876, easing pedestrian access between the north and south sides of the tracks. In 1876, the Knoxville Streetcar Company built the city's first trolley line along Gay Street. The trolleys, initially pulled by horses, were electrified by William Gibbs McAdoo in 1890. The Gay Street Bridge originally contained trolley tracks, which helped spark the development of South Knoxville, especially the Island Home Park and Vestal areas. Trolleys were a common sight on Gay Street until the trolley lines were eliminated and the tracks paved over in the late 1940s. During the 1970s and 80s, Gay Street transitioned from a retail corridor to an office market, symbolized by the erection of the Plaza and Riverview Towers, and the renovation of the Andrew Johnson Hotel as an office building. During the same period, successful efforts to save the Bijou laid the foundation for the preservation group Knox Heritage, and more focus was placed on the preservation of Gay Street's historical integrity. More recently, a number of Gay Street high-rises, including the Holston, Sturkey Lofts, and the upper levels of the Burwell Building, have been successfully renovated as downtown condominium space. Throughout the history of Knoxville, Gay Street has served as a symbolic center of all Knoxvillians and will continue to be appreciated for its historic value and the way in which it ties us all to our past.